Pagul sau Gala? Pagul, Pagul! Hrnana! În gras! Pagul, Pagul! Hrnana! Wasabi! Angel! Be careful!
Maybe you swallowed some water. Not yet, but I could sure use some now. With a little something in it. I left my portable bar at home. Well, fine hero you turned out to be. Not even a jigger of scotch for a poor drowning gal. Sorry. Well, thanks anyway. And if you ever get to Los Angeles, you look me up. I'll give you a couple of free tickets to a wrestling match. You should enjoy that. Ooh. Hey, hey, where's my camera? My camera! Here you are. Oh, thanks again. Your camera all right? Oh, sure. It's waterproofed. Chalkproof, too. Say, you're not... No. No, you couldn't be. Couldn't be what? Still, turn your head to the right. No, the other way. No, no resemblance to Bob Miller. Should there be? Well, it's just a shot in the dark. I really didn't expect to find him here, though, or anywhere for that matter. This Bob Miller sounds like he's good and lost. For over nine years now. He's listed in the War Department files as missing in action in a flight over the jungle. War pilot? Among other things. To a couple of million Americans, he was also Mr. Football. Robert Bob Miller. All-American quarterback, war hero, idol of the nation. Then one day he went out on a routine flight over the jungle and... Poof! Goodbye, Mr. All-American. Now you're looking for him. That's right. You see... He didn't have any parents, but he did have an uncle. No, oh, Mr. Moneybags himself. Why, he had more bank books than he had pockets to put them in. So he hired me to look for Bob, and if I find him, bring him back. Stanley and Livingston. Ann Lawrence and Bob Miller. Why the camera? I'm a freelance photographer. Now, you see, I know I won't find Miller. But at least I can bring back a record of the search, and it should make a very good picture. Supposing you find him. Well, of course, that's not very likely after nine years. But if I do, if I do, this film will be worth its weight in gold. Good luck. And I hope you find your gold. Well, you're not very subtle, but thanks anyway. Say, I don't even know your name yet. I'm Ann Lawrence. Jim. Jungle Jim? That's right. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it couldn't be. What's the joke? <laughs> Well, did you ever hear tell of the man who chased a woman until she caught him? Well, I've been chasing you, and it looks like you've caught me. Or at least saved my life. I thought you were looking for Bob Miller. Well, you see, I was told that you were the best guide in the jungle to help me find Bob Miller. And, brother, do I need a guide. What you need, young lady, is a... We locate your porters and equipment, and you can come with me. Where? Meeting of the chiefs, tribal warfare, raids by some unfriendly tribe. Well, what's that got to do with me? This tribe is being led by a white man. Bob Miller? Could be. Would you like to come along? Well, you just try and hold me back. Let's go. Tabo. <laughs>
many moons now, war drums beat. Blood flow like water. How many tribes have been attacked? Wambul, Ngrichi, Tubala, all tribes. Ono speak for all. They attack my people, Matusa. Burn village, kill women, babies, take away men. Ono fight, but no good. Matusa people afraid, run away. I can't believe that, Bono. Your people would never run away from danger. Not run away from danger. Run away from skeleton men. What? Skeleton men. Skull and bones move through jungle. Our people afraid, run away. Then bad natives come, burn village, take away men. Same thing happened to all tribes. Your message said something about a white man. White man with gun lead bad natives and skeleton men. Chiefs of all tribes have big meeting. We make army, big army. You, Jungle Jim, our friend, lead army. Fight bad natives, drive away skeleton men. Bring peace to Jungle. I can't lead your army until we find out who our enemy is, where his huts are and how many spears he has. Jungle Jim, speak with wisdom. Bono, go tell other chiefs. Do you think this renegade white man could be Bob Miller? Anything's possible in the jungle. Possible, but not very probable, huh? I take it from your words of wisdom with the chief that you uh, figure on doing some exploring? Prospecting for information, Miss Lawrence, not for gold. Well, if you insist upon insulting my crass commercial nature, then you might as well call me Anne. How about taking me along, Jim? Might be dangerous. So what? A picture of you with your head in the lion's mouth would be worth any danger. This lion's got a big mouth. Room enough for both of our heads. Well, that should be real cozy. All chiefs agree, do what Jungle Jim say. Bono, come with Jim. Find skeleton men. Good. Well, when do we start? Right now. We'll take a look at the village first and see if we can find any leads. Let's go. <laughs> Take a war party and start out again tomorrow with the skeleton men. Meanwhile, keep them digging. I need all the rock chicken mine. Good, good. Hunda! 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 White men, all right. That's a shoe print. What about natives? Never seen the marks of this tribe before. They came downstream and went back up after the raid. <laughs> what do you think you're doing, your first cousin to a baboon, you? The Singali only tribe upstream. They good, not bad natives. What do we do? Visit them. See if they know anything. If they don't... Miss Lawrence, you ready to go now? Yeah. <laughs> What do you expect to find at the Zengali village? 
Maybe nothing. Maybe it'll lead to this white man and his troublemaking tribe. Then what? We keep on going. The Bono says the Zingali are the last friendly outpost of natives on the river. There's nothing but uncharted wilderness and rough rapids on the river beyond them. That's right. You're frightened. Well, if you hear a sound like rolling dice, don't be fooled. I want to be my teeth chattering. Well, we can still turn back or leave you with the natives. Well, the noise you'd hear then would be a couple of lonely silver dollars in my purse crying out for company. It must be fun to worship at the altar of the great god money. Well, at least you've always got plenty of company. That's all right, unless you choose your about the company you keep. We'll be at the village in about an hour. Jim, what did you find out? Well, we're on the right track. Zingali see skeleton men? Haven't seen the skeleton men, nor the troublemaking natives. Well, you're a big help. Nobody knows from nothing, but we're on the right track. Would you be interested in knowing what they said about a white man? White man? Bob Miller? I don't know, but they're talking about a great white god, a man who throws thunder with his hands. Thunder? Well, if it's Bob Miller, that's a new one. He used to be pretty good at throwing forward passes, but... One thing they didn't teach him at college was how to how to throw thunder. Jim, you think maybe man who throw thunder and man who lead bad natives, not same white man? I don't know, but I think we better get some sleep. We'll find out more tomorrow. Come on. is being attacked. Skeleton men? Skeleton men, all right. Come on, we gotta get out of here. Boy.
white man and woman. Don't let... Woo! We got the river guarded, but it's our only chance. You think you can make it? Have I got a choice? <laughs> Too many guards. Through here, it's a shortcut to the lower river and rapids. Follow us. Take her to my village. You can all rest there. In gully. Yeah,
come. Better do as he says. Sidewalks. in the heart of the jungle. Maybe we're both seeing things. Come. You slept. Glad you're okay now. They're fixing up some chow if you don't mind eating picnic style. Just a minute. Would you mind telling us where we are and who you are? Not at all. This is the village of the Sutker tribe. My name is Miller, Bob Miller. Now, if you're ready to eat, you can follow me. There goes your pot of gold. In the flesh. And me without a camera. Ever think of selling blowout patches for bubble gum? Understand there's big money in it. And you think you're on the trail of these skeleton men, as you call them? We think so. They probably come from somewhere deep in the jungle. Well, you're pretty deep now. I've never heard of anyone going much further in and coming back to write a book about it afterwards. You sound like you've tried. The book part, no. But I did try exploring deeper inland ones. And? If I told you what I'd seen, you wouldn't sleep well at night. Monogichi land? You've been there? No, but I heard about it. Then you know. Well, what are you going to do about it? Keep right on going till we find some trace of those skeleton men. I heard somewhere that discretion was a better part of valor. Somebody forgot to tell that to the skeleton men and their white renegade leader. Well, they haven't bothered my tribe. Until they do, it's none of my business. When there's trouble in the jungle, it's everybody's business. I'll worry about it later. There's a nice lake close by. How about a little swim? Wonderful. I'd love to. Got to get some stuff together. Pulling out in the morning. See you later. Well, how do I look? No comment? Turn around again. I can't understand you're not wanting to go home. Why should I? Now, that's no answer. So you crashed here, and the natives saved your life, and nursed you back to health. You've more than repaid them for that. You don't belong. Are you trying to entice me with my uncle's visions? I knew they'd look good. Better than they do on old Phineas money bags? Mm -hmm. No, thanks. I studied a lot of stuff in college. Things I thought I'd never use. But I've given these natives little things that they never knew existed. They're very grateful to me. Indoor plumbing, two chickens in every pot. You know, I think this business of being the great white god has gone to your head. Maybe it has, but it's quite a feeling to know that these simple natives look to me for guidance and help. Well, there are a lot of people back in the States that could use some guidance and help. It wouldn't be the same. You mean you wouldn't be the great white god who throws thunder with his hands? 
Oh, you heard about that. Well, I saw you do it, remember? It's just a little hocus pocus. Variation of the Molotov cocktail. Hocus pocus is right. A million bucks just sitting there waiting for him. And what does the guy do? Plays nursemaid to a bunch of barefoot barbarians. I give up. Bob, what is it? Skeleton men. They attacked one of my hunting parties. Killed two of the men and kidnapped the rest. Well, what are you going to do? Start throwing a little of that thunder around. Jim was right. When there's trouble in the jungle, sooner or later, it's everybody's trouble. Bob. We'd better get back to the village. My men are ready, Jim. You sure you want to do this? Now, don't worry about him. When it comes to fool things, he's in a class by himself. Is that why you're coming along? Well, somebody has to go along and make sure you two heroes come in out of the rain when it pours. And besides, I might get enough material out of this for a story that'll pay me good money. With Mr. Miller thinking the way he does about returning to civilization, it's about the only way I can break even on this deal. Look here. The Mona Geechee country is oval. With this river skirting it, the men we're after are somewhere up here. The war party and equipment will go by river, traveling only at night and hiding out during the day. They'll stop here and wait for us. We'll take our chances, Overland. That's our only hope of finding our headquarters. It won't be a picnic. Sundell! Sundell! Up! foot long if it's an inch. Hide before it sees it.
some relatives here. We better go on in another direction. Skeleton men. Bob, wow, Ann, get up, quick! Jungle Tambo, wait for me.
an unexpected guest. How do you do? In there. Come on up. for not being here to greet you when you first arrived. My name is Heller, Dr. Mitchell Heller, industrial chemist. Oh, yes, you, uh, you must be curious about all this, about me. Let me set your minds at ease. This is igneous rock, a very rare and difficult substance to find. It contains within itself what we call magma, which is formed in nature by a hot solution of liquids and gases. In itself, the rock is worthless, just so much stone. In its effect upon other elements, however, it is priceless. Into those vats, we place the igneous rock. It's heated until the liquids and gases in the magma begin to separate. Bengali! At this point, we add ordinary sugar. With startling results, as you can see. When the sugar is burned, it leaves a residue of pure carbon, which is immediately captured and held suspended by the magma. The whole solution is suddenly immersed in cold water. cooling creates unbelievably tremendous pressures, and the carbon, under the action of the liquefied and gaseous magma, is recrystallized, but into an entirely different form. Results are diamonds. Perfect, priceless synthetic diamonds. Impossible to distinguish from the real thing. Except for the young lady, the rest of you will be assigned to the mines to dig for igneous rock. Oh, yes, I forgot to mention this. This rock also contains another strange property. Because of the radioactive elements in the rock, it soon affects the human tissue. After you've been mining it for a few days, you too will feel a weakness, a definite physical change. It's a matter of only a short time before you die. An annoying situation which makes it necessary from time to time to recruit new workers for the mine. I uh, hope you've enjoyed my little dissertation. Are there any questions? Yes. When do you crawl back under the rock with the rest of the insects? Corvala! Corvala! Exposed film, the only containers that customs inspectors don't open. With diamonds worth what they are today, it'll be interesting to try to take them out of the country in film containers. You'll never get away with it. Perhaps not. In the bottom drawer of that desk, you will find a chest of diamonds. Be good enough to replace your film with the gems. And uh, then reseal the containers. I won't do it. You're a very attractive girl. If I were you, I shouldn't exchange the glow of beauty for the glow of radioactivity. There's a guard outside, so don't be foolish. And uh, as for that friend of yours who escaped, 
He won't get very far. And Bono. In the mine, digging that stuff. Help me with this. <laughs> Let's get out of here. What about Heller's diamonds? There's a fortune there. Leave them. in the jungle. I'll be with you as soon as I can. Okay. Try and make it back in time. Remember the flaming arrow. over the caves where Heller makes his diamonds. But letting the water flood the caves won't just destroy Heller and his men. You'll kill all those prisoners. They change shifts in the afternoon. When I give you the signal, you blow up the inlet. Well, that takes care of the caves. Now, what about Heller? When the blast goes up, Bob and his men will attack the village from the east. At the same time, Bono will eat all the prisoners on a break to the west. Very neat, but do you think it'll work? Hope so. dynamite.
Now I'll get it set. What do you want, Jim? Chase Heller, that way. Come on.
Round up all the prisoners and start them back to their villages, Bono. You and your men can take care of the Mac Lees. We'll see that they're turned over to the commissioner and the native police. Ann, when you're finished taking pictures, we better start back. I'm finished. Those pictures should be worth a lot of money. That's right. And I suppose my uncle will pay you plenty for finding me. Even more if I were able to bring you back to the States. Bob, have you changed your mind about going back to a million dollars? I'm still not interested. Uh-huh. Well? Hey, what's the idea? I thought you said that film was worth a lot of money. And who needs money in the jungle? 